It's Football Focus UAE, and today we're in conversation with Goran. Goran is one of the most successful managers in the Gulf, having coached for over 20 years. For the last four years, he's been with us here in the Arabian Gulf League with Kalba, Banyas, Corfican, and Fajera. We're going to ask him the difference between coaching an international team to a cup team. What took him into management? What's his inspiration? What does he look for in a good player? And then also where he hopes to end up next season. It's a must watch. Tune in. Welcome to Football Focus UAE, everybody. We have a special um, episode. Today we have a in conversation with Goran. Goran, I'm not sure how to pronounce your surname. Please forgive me. Tufegdich? Tufegdich, it's family name. Ah, okay. It's, it's very difficult. <laughs> you know, you, many, many people just have problems, you know, but uh, it's... With okay, my family. But, uh, enough, Goran. It's enough, Goran. No. Okay, because thanks, all thanks. people in the Gulf know me with Goran. <laughs> thank you very much. So I'd like to welcome Goran, like Ian as well, um, and for doing this interview today. And uh, we'll move straight ahead, if you don't mind, Goran. I mean, we've Ian and I have carefully looked over your career, and we were saying to each other, it's an illustrious career. I mean, you've won everything. You've done everything. And, well, it seems that way. But first question we wanted to ask you, Goran, is why a football coach? Why a football manager? It's a stressful job. Why? But uh, really, sometimes I think about uh, this, but uh, I don't know. I think it's my destiny. And uh, when I was a child, same from when I had three, four years, you know, I'm every time with a... Uh, was with uh, with ball and uh, I like too much to play football with my uh, my friends, you know. And after that, I was a player and every time I was with ball. After that, it was my destiny and my future, I think, and my wish to be to be coach because uh, I'm educated and I finish uh, university for uh, sport education and I'm professor. But every time my wish and my destiny was to be coach and uh, really again uh, when I thinking like this I think I'm not made me mistake because this is the ball in my blood and really I like my 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 job okay interesting answer there Goran it's it's in your blood it's your destiny and Ian yeah. has got a question for you so move on thank you very much for that Ian um, I just want to say it's very interesting because we've we've spoken to a lot of footballers a lot of managers and Quite often, a lot of them say that it is in their blood. It's something they've been born with. It's their destiny. It's just something that was written in the stars. And and you you just you know agreed with that as well. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. You know because uh, every time your dream is was uh, to be a player. After that, uh, when you're growing up, it's uh, to be to, to be. for for this uh, job and uh, from from my beginning really every time I I saw self to be in the sport maybe sometimes to be professor on university about physical education but uh, I think in this moment my destiny was I opened 2002 I I get offer from Kuwait and uh, from 2002 I start to be professional coach outside from from my country and from 2002 I'm coaching in the Gulf country many many Gulf countries still to to today <laughs> yeah I see. it's been a but, long time well, over 20 years now almost 20 yes. years in the Gulf. yes exactly exactly approximately 20 years yes I, I'm in the the Gulf and I was in many many country in the in the Gulf in the course most of time in Kuwait after that Saudi Qatar the last four years in the Emirates and uh, really I think it's big experience behind uh, me and uh, I don't know this is most important to know mentality and what I said every time you must educate educate self and to adapt on okay. these players and of course to know mentality and all all this Okay, thank you again. Excellent answer, Goran. And by the way, your English is uh, impeccable, Goran. <laughs> impeccable. Ian, you had a, another one. 
Yeah, well, it's, it's, no, it's nice to hear Goran talking about that, you know, you're always learning. You know, he's a professor, professor in education. You know, I come from an education background. And it, no matter how far you get in your game or your um, workplace, you're still always learning. So it's nice, nice to hear that. But one of the questions I'd like to ask is what's the difference between managing a national team? Because obviously you manage the Q8 national team from, I think, 2009 to 2013 to a club yeah. team. What's, what's the big difference? But uh, really, you know, in the in the, in the, when you work in national uh, team, this is uh, something different for me than you work in the in the clubs. For example, um, uh, in the national team, you have okay better uh, selection, and uh, most important for me is energy in the club and uh, scouting because you don't have team a long time. You know, you have maybe one micro cycle seven to. 10 days before some uh, match or tournament uh, team. And uh, for this period, you must to adapt your style and your uh, idea. And of course, before you must to make good scouting to see how play your uh, opponent. But at the same time, you know, you, you really must to keep this energy to team, have good atmosphere and energy inside in the team. And if you compare, example, when you work in the club, you have more training, you know, you have mm -hmm. more period to, to players understand your style, your model, how you want to play. And, uh, okay, of course, uh, you don't have too much time and start competition and the uh, league. You have maybe five, six days to fix your mistake from last match and to, yeah. to set for players how we'll play your next opponent, you know, and... Uh, you have more time and uh, training more with, with, with club. Of course, what is different if you compare with, uh, with national team, you know. So, Goran, this... sorry to interject, Ian. Goran, which do you prefer? Do you prefer coaching a national team or do you prefer coaching a club, you know, that every day, building that team spirit? Which one do you prefer? Sorry, Ian, if you don't mind me uh, asking, Goran. No, this is, you know, this is, uh, it's nice. You have some benefits when you work in national team at the same time. Really, for me, I like I'm coach who uh, like to to work, you know. And uh, for me, it's the challenge each next match. And when you work in the club, you know, you you every five six days you have matches. If you compare with uh, when you coach a national team, maybe for two three months you have one or two matches or some 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 competition. For me, it's better. For me, it's more challenging. See now, maybe because till now I'm not. Old coach for me is more challenge, and I, I like it more to be maybe coach in the club <laughs> because you more have contact with players and you have more training, and this is more more challenge for you, you know. Yeah, thank you, thank you for that. Ian, sorry to. <laughs> no, I I was just going to say both both have very very different challenges, like like Goran saying there. One, if you're a national coach, you're only getting the players for a very short period of time. They might be, you might be asking them to play in different formations with different positions. You haven't got the opportunity to work with them. So for me, if, if I had the choice, I think I would prefer to be a, a club manager because you get that rapport. You get to work with the players day in, day out. You understand what makes them makes them tick and what, how to get the best out of them. Where I can only imagine being a national coach is, is very, very difficult. Yes, 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 exactly. Yes, what you, what you said, because... When you in uh, work in the club, you know you can. Uh, what I said, you can uh, prove. You can uh, show and do. You can uh, set for players and explain your idea, special about model and style, how you you want to play. You have more uh, time. You can. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, you can build that spirit. Players, yes, to, to build. Yes, to build your 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 idea, special about offensive, about defense. Face or principal uh, and all face in the in the game, you know, and it's more more easy to to explain for players than if you compare with national team when you have short time, you know, and uh, and don't have too much uh, too much uh, time to explain for players. But at the same time, in national team you have uh, more free mm. because you can have more choice for 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 players. You can make selection for all players and in this moment depend from your opponent, you can make uh, players uh, what you want, ability so for players to need in this moment. Yes. Yes. But I mean, to me, when we look at your career, you've done, you've been very successful as a national coach, Goran. I mean, you won the Asian Cup. I mean, you've, you've done the business. 
as a national yes, court? Yes, really, my successful period uh, is was uh, between 2009 and 2013 when I was coach for national team Kuwait, yes. Because 2010, I took uh, Gulf Cup and took West Asian uh, Cup in this period between uh, uh, between 2010 and 2011, uh, Asia Football Federation gave for Kuwait national team to best national team in the Asia because I removed uh, Kuwait national team more than 20 positions on the FIFA rank list, you know, and this is this period really was good. At the same time, I qualified Kuwait for uh, two Asian Cups for Qatar and for uh, Australia, and all these results is not easy to make it, you know. No, it's a fa fantastic achievement. Mm, I agree. Yeah. Yes, really, 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 you know. And this is time, really, this moment is, was my, my beginning, you know, for career for national team. After from 2013, I was only manager for, for clubs. This is only, mm. I had only one national team, it's Kuwait national team. Mm. Okay, interesting. Ian, you would, just going to move on to the next question, Ian. Well, we know, obviously, Goran, currently you're having a break from football. Are you, are you ready to get back in, back in the dugout? And if so, where would you like to be? But uh, really, I'm last, last four years in the, in the Emirates, till to 2016. And uh, really, I think now more no football in the Emirates, you know, and really my wish again to, to back in the Emirates. Uh, but anyway, I'm professional coach, and before this, I work in Saudi, in Qatar, in Kuwait, you know, in all all Asia. Depend from 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 in this moment uh, option, and uh, and if you get some some good uh, and uh, and contract, you know. But uh, but uh, I think, uh, and I saw in the Emirates football because in this moment uh, really I know all clubs in Emirates generally I know style how play system in Emirates many many players you know and uh, really I in this moment uh, I hope again I will back in Emirates football. Gordon we need you back in the Emirates club I mean you ah, are thank you thank you how the Banyas you got him into the pro league I mean these look like they might win the league this season and that's all from your work early on in them early years. Then Corfa, can I remember the first game you won against Sharjah when uh, Junior Antonio Junior scored that second yes. goal, first win. I remember that I was commentating. And, yes. Uh, so we need you back. And, and Fajira, you were doing a fantastic job to me. You were building. So we need you back. So tell us a little bit about your time in the UAE because a lot of this interview will go out to... Um, football players, coaches, Ministry of Education, football fans. Tell us about your time in the UAE, you know, from Albert Yes, Bayer. really, uh, really, you know, from from the beginning, if you talk about now Fujira, last my, my club, really, it's very difficult example. When I talk about Fujira and Korfahan, I think I did a great uh, job because both, uh, both teams stay in safe zone. And I, I took this these two two team and uh, same time I think uh, because I'm a coach who like to play football you know and mm. uh, our team always play good good football what is good and same time I give chance for many young players example now in Ujira you have Nasser Abdella Mufta Muhammad you know I try to give chance for young players in the Korfahan is what what you said. Uh, Julio, Autone, and many, many, many young players get uh, get a chance. And uh, with Banias, of course, you know, is took first first position, you know, in the second uh, league. I think all this period is big experience for me, and uh, special because uh, I I was coach in the club who is fight and which is target was first position, same. Banias, when you must to play another style, if you compare with some uh, some clubs, then Korfahan and the Fujira, which is target to stay in the league, this is two different experience for coaches and two different model, you know. And of course, you have different players, and for all this, you must to to adapt. At the same time, it's very important must to know mentality, you know. And uh, 
really all, all, all this is is very very important to be successful and to to make uh, to make results in some club because you know it's not same to work in some to said club who is fight to stay in the league and same time we, same time to work in some club which is target first or second position qualification for uh, Asian Champion League you know this is different model different style you must play same time different players quality of the players you know and yeah, all this you must to adapt and to put in system how you want to play and of course in the target what is target for for club all this coach must to have knowledge and to to prepare team for for target what is target for club so you've kind of experienced the best of both worlds the clubs who are fighting to stay and the clubs who are wanting to win Trophy yeah. very important. So you've got a, a wealth of experience here in the UAE. I know Ian wanted to ask about COVID nineteen. You know, managing Ian, you wanted to ask something about. Yeah, management. just just before we do mention that, I just wanted to say that the way you set your teams up, we've been very impressed. Like you say, that you like to play good football. You like to get the ball down, play it out from the back, and it's been really nice to watch. And just unfortunately for Jerry, it just didn't quite work out in terms of maybe silly mistakes or, or the personnel not quite being up to the level of play. But we've really enjoyed the football that you've tried to try to put out across your team. So, you know, just please continue doing so because it's a football the fans like to watch. But yes, really, I'm a coach who likes to play. I like to have all face in the in the game, you know, from beginning attack to still to finishing attack. And I try to have position, not only position, to have ball, to have this progress in in in, in position, you know, and really to play uh, football, uh, football which is uh, like it, like it fans and uh, all mm. to in, in to enjoy. But in same time, you must to think about uh, results. Example now in Fujira, I think really our team play very good football, but you is had problem. What I said with uh, the fans because our team is receive many scores, you know, and. Uh, I tried to fix this problem, but uh, our last line is had uh, approximately 21 years, and this is need experience. And sometimes it's very oh. difficult to fix this individual yeah. mistake, you know. But it's most important to do every time analyze to try to to explain for for players where is mistake. But what I said in the football need time, special when you fight to only stay in the in the league but uh, generally I'm satisfied because our team is stay in the safe zone when I went and at the same time really I think our team play good uh, good uh, football what is for me is very very important yeah Thank I agree you. I agree what's it what's it like being coaching during this pandemic so during the coronavirus there's been no fans in the grounds what's that been like but uh, really, this is Corona in all the world, and you must adapt on the Corona, you know, and same uh, uh, all coaches and players must adapt on this situation. And uh, really, it's not not easy, especially because uh, really you must to divide and to 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 have training one period with two or three groups, you know, especially when you work in the in the gym, and uh, same time. Um, it's not same feeling when you play uh, on match where you have fans and respectators, and now without uh, respectators. And same time, you must to care about healthy for for your players and to adapt in in different situation because maybe you prepare one player for next match, but he get corona, you know, and you must to adapt. It's have many many situation. But you, it's very important to adapt. But it's most important to think about healthy for 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 uh, for players, you know, because mm. it's not not easy. And I hope in future now with this vaccine we will solve this problem and again we'll be back. And really, my wish to see again the spectators and fans, you know. Yeah, the, let's hope so. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But last question, Goran, because we're limited with time with Zoom. We wanted to ask, look, Ian teaches in, we, Ian and I teach in schools, Gorlan. Um, Ian in the Ministry of Education. Ian's a, a PE teacher. Um, I teach the football coaches here, um, English, and, and help out with the courses. What advice would you give young footballers 
young coaches who, you know, because you've got an illustrious career, you've been very successful, what advice would you like to give them? They're going to watch this interview, Gordon, all of them, so please. Uh, uh, but this is uh, really my advice to, because this is my life motive, is to hard work. And after when you hard work and when you educate, uh, results we will come, not need to be hurry about uh, results. I think uh, most important to believe in self, to work hard, you know, and of course, every time to educate and to follow knowledge and uh, what is new in the football, because every time you can learn something, something new, you know, and every time to work and to learn, you know, and I'm sure after uh, results, we will come. Well, I, I, that's fantastic. Go on, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for your time, Ian. I, I know you feel the same way. Absolutely. Uh, it's really, it's really real. thank, you. thank you for you, and really, was my pleasure to, uh, nice. to make this interview. Wonderful.